So Minari is an independent film produced, which I just found out at the very end in the credits, is produced by Brad Pitt. It's, um, it was made by, distributed by A24 Pictures, who also produced one of my favorite movies of last year, two years ago, The Lighthouse. Have you seen The Lighthouse? Yes, I have. A very good movie. With, uh, Willem, was that Willem Dafoe? Yeah. Yeah. And Robert Pattinson. Yeah. Great but, movie. um, but, um, this, this I, I have been anticipating for, and, uh, I didn't get the chance to see it last year, but I finally got to see it now. And, uh, this is, um, based on an actual, uh, um, a semi-autobiographical story, uh, direct from director Lee Isaac Chung. Um, like him, he, like the characters in this, in, in, in this movie, they, he actually grew up in, um, in kind of, in kind of a, um, in, Hillbilly. in, in rural America, in rural America. In 1983. Yeah. Well, with, that's, when this, that's when this movie takes place. And his family were also, and his family were, all, were also farmers. Yeah. So, um, the movie, it was, um, it, I like the beginning, how, um, it starts off, it takes, it starts off, it takes place in 1983, at the beginning, you, you see, like, playing with the old TV set, and it, it, at first I was confused, like, okay, is this the 80s or the 1960s? The thing, the thing is about, the thing is about a lot of rural Americas in the 80s is that they probably, you know, they don't have, like, the technical, technological advancements that I think a lot of the more urban, urban areas do. And that is kind of like a, that is kind of a, 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 that is kind of part of the conflict between the, between family members. Um, because Stephen Yoon, Stephen Yoon, um, who you probably know from The Walking Dead and stuff. He, and Burning. He, he plays the, he plays the main character and the father figure who wants to raise this farm and who raise this farm in the middle of Arkansas, despite despite um, his wife's wishes to that the thing is they moved they moved from Cal they moved from California California and then to and then and then and then all over the place before finally finally landing in Arkansas with to where he decided to and to move them all into a mobile home where where he can where he can use this land and grow and grow Essentially, you know, grow, grow Korean. No, uh, he wants to grow American food. It's the grandmother who wants to grow the Korean crops, the minari. Well, no, no, no. It's it is it is Korean. It is, oh, it's most mostly Korean crops. Oh, right, right. He says he wants to sell because because he thinks it'll be, it'll be it'll sell. because yeah because it, he thinks it'll sell really. You know, the intention was that they would sell it and they would sell it in in uh, in in um, in Texas. And, um, yeah, because Texas, Texas back in the eighties was, I mean, even even back in the I remember back in the mid two thousands how 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 like deeply uh, not except Boston like how I remember back in two thousand five when I was like twelve I went to a Barnes and Nobles or a Borders in Texas and I'm like do you do you have a manga section like manga what's manga anyway, so anyway. I, I know how very rural and and hillbilly they were even in the mid two thousands so I can imagine back in the eighties that they they would they would find they would find like these foreign fruits to be a to be a, a, a luxury like a delicacy it's, yeah it's a so, it's a bit of a contention be, and that's part of the contention not only not only between not only between uh not only because the fact that they are a korean family in 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 the middle of in the middle of this town hillbilly town <laughs> yeah a predominantly white town um as you um but also because because the because the family they're because the the wife you know preferred living in California uh, to to li to living in this to living in Arkansas where now they're kind of little mo they're more like they're they're kind of more like they're kind of more like outsiders. Yeah, so that's the basic premise. Um, what that's a, it was an interesting premise, but I th I think that the um. I, I like the story for the most part. Some some of the uh the the back not the backgrounds like the the props they use like there's this nineteen there was this car with like white white wheel tire white wall tires. At first I thought is this the six the eighties or nineteen sixties? Again, like this again. Like, this is yeah, so, again. You know, I guess you could say of, well, it's, it's a, that's the thing about that's the thing that's yeah that's part of that that little that conflict because you know here they are here they are in 
in here they are in a in a rural in a more rural town with not too not too much of the luxury that they had back in California which they which they were you know they still there's you know they're and the fact is they're in a mobile home and you know that you know th that gets a, that gets into a huge that gets into a big problem because you know the fir I think one of the I think their first week they the first week the rain cut first week when it's rain when it, there's a huge storm the water leaks and the yeah, there's a tornado warning I think um but the but uh, yeah I, I'm not gonna go into like full detail on like what happens yeah. because because a lot of a lot of a lot of the things a lot of the little little moments with with the family are are like here's the th there there are a lot to there there are a lot to cherish and you kind of it kind of reminds you that like despite all the problems that they have to deal with you know you know and, like for me the big um, i like the movie but for me the biggest issue would be the pacing i feel like it's trying to be like a like a like maybe a six or seven episode television Listen, mini, I, I, mini series i had i had i honestly had no problem i yeah. felt like it was I mean, well, not that it wasn't well paced. I think they were, they were trying to tell, tell a lot more of a story because it felt like a slice of life movie. I feel like for this type of story, it would have been better off as maybe a, a like I said, an eight episode, seven or eight episode tell, TV um, mini series that would be better off for like a streaming service. Here's I mean, the, here, yeah, well, but but this is kind of a personal tale that I think I I I feel like they had they were able. I feel like they had to fit a lot of a lot of the a lot of the details and yeah. a lot of. A lot of it. Like there, there's this one scene where the, at the, in the beginning where they're taking out an Atari 50, 5200 and and they they briefly show it off for like five seconds and they, and they never show it ever again. I feel like they're trying to like show, like say this is the eighties, this is the eighties, this is the eighties. They're just trying to shove as much pro as much. I, I don't think I don't think they were like, I don't think they were shoving that much. I mean, I mean this we, was. I mean, but, but like I feel like if I feel like they were like they, they they didn't show off enough they didn't show off enough of what they wanted to show. They were just they were just showing off what they were obligated to show to give off the illusion that was the 1980s i no, want no, no. I, I feel like they want to sh they want to show off more they i feel like they no that i feel like that no i don't i i, really? I think the opposite they they weren't really? obligated to show anything show anything because what what can you do in the, what can you do in the 80s in the middle of middle america and yeah. that's what and the, you know, that's, what, in america. that's what i love that's what i love because like the kids the kid because you know here here's the Here's the father and the mother. They're like, like doing their own. They're they're on their. They're doing their own. They're, you know they have. The, and then the kids, on the other hand, who they can't, are, who can't act. But they're, but they're. But I mean, they're they're seven they're, years old. So I I, I got this as well. I felt like it. I felt like they were definitely. Yeah. I, I think they definitely played to the played to the role played to the, like the parts that they yeah. were parts because you know the kids, they're, wow. you know. You know, you have the older sister who who's who's very protective, and the older and the older and the younger younger oh, son. Oh yeah, the younger son. He's suffering from heart palpitations. So one of the side plots is that they um they want they want to maybe want to make sure that he doesn't overexert himself too often, so he doesn't like suffer from a heart from like uh, his heart stop beating or something. But you know, like he's that. he's still he's still very optimistic and he's yeah. very open minded. You know, he. You know he's willing to he's willing to listen to any he's willing to listen to like anyone who like gives like gives like something interesting you know he he listened to his own father when it comes to like comes like working on the farm he, eventually and you know you know and then there's and then his relationship with the grandma which you know it's it, it struggles because you know the grandma isn't a regular grandma but she's, sooner or later the t sooner or later you know she shows him like a little more of a Shows him a little more, a little more of what like what she had she has planned. Yeah, one thing I like with the the grandmother dynamic was the 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 the, the mother and the father are, t are typical like stern like very very uh, not, I wouldn't I wouldn't say authoritarian but they're very strict and they they want you you did something bad to your grandma you need to be whacked and like but I like how the grandma is more is more like playful with the kids and she allows them, she allows them to be kids whereas the parents are more strict I thought that created an, an interesting dynamic like you have the grandma who's trying to be all all nice and playful and the parents who are being very 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 hard hard ashes yeah. like hard ashy. I don't yes, know what the word is. Definitely, that was a fun dynamic. Like there's a scene where the and, kid and, and also it's definitely worth like the the actress to win like the Oscar because she, <laughs> the grandma. Yeah, she did. Oh, she won an Oscar. Good for her. And yeah, I I I felt like the, it was a it was a good 
I felt like it was a good dynamic, you know, between between like the yeah, the, the definitely shaped up a little bit of like the fam, shaped up a little bit of the family. Yeah, and um, like there's one scene where he, he, he there's it's established the boy he's has a bladder problem. He he pees in her cup and the grandma drinks his piss and it was really funny. I thought I thought and and then, then they try and punish him for it. Like oh, you're just a little kid. I don't know. It's fun. Yeah. And you see how the grandma is trying her best, um. I I I think this movie is about people trying their best, but realizing that they that their best sometimes, no matter how hard you try, isn't going to be good enough, and that so, and that you just have to accept what life throws at you. I think that's the message that they were trying to. Th I, I think I'm not sure if that was the message, but that that for me is one of the things. I um, think, and especially, you know what, you know what, I I, I kind of get it, and yeah. especially when you're you're very much an immigrant family, you there there are. Especially in the eighties, there were a lot of challenges yeah. for AIDS. For a lot. And, I can imagine like AIDS, uh, and, and yeah, um, definitely, definitely a lot of the, a lot of the a lot of the like a lot of the events that eighty three. I think that's when the AIDS epidemic became became a major news. I'm surprised they didn't mention part, that. Well, uh, it it I think it mentions a little bit going a little bit, but it showed but it shows how much how how much I don't want how much uh, you know like kind of like a. How like far away from like far away from the the um, like far away from the you know the usually the usually stern the the more uh, the the more I I, I want to say that they're 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 a lot they're you know there are far away from. It, from much of the the current events, the current events of the of the eight of the eighties that have been, that you know we're we're used to seeing. You know we don't see like the, the we don't we don't see the the like the the kind of like the less the the rural the rural towns of Amer America. Well, I mean, around like, that time, yeah, especially around that time. Um, this is an indie film had a modest budget, everything like four million dollars, and and for what they did, they did a good job. Um, what uh, some of the scenes which, which I think were um, yeah, or uh, like some of my favorite scenes, when when they're at the at the church, they're, at, they're having a buffet, and there's just one girl who comes along. Okay, and just, okay, that 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 was like the that was that was probably the funniest part. Here's here's the best part. Like you you, you know. There are, there are moments where I, me, I myself, I myself was close to cringing, but it's like, you know, you know, it's so, somehow they've been able to, somehow they've been able to take, take it in stride because, but like, you, you don't, you don't understand, you don't know like the, the weird, the weird kind of, the weird kind of palpitations that you have when, when you're like the only immigrant fan immigrant family in like this this lo in like this lo this location until like you meet you meet them and the way and the way they act yeah I mean, there's no there's no way that, that this little girl would ever get do something that, or, or be able to get away with the things that she said back back then nowadays so like she's like extremely she says a bunch of like Chinese or Asian gibberish or tries to sound Asian it is it is it is what it is yeah. for the time 83 yeah it's, but it it is what it is for the time, and it does, it does capture a little bit of the cringiness of of cringiness, but you know it's, you know it's it's enough to like know a little bit of like how mu how you know, how much more how how much more culturally sent how much more culturally sensitive we are to. You know, other to other other customs and other cultures Nowadays, and other yeah, other moments. Like 30, 37 years ago, thirty eight years ago. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and there, there's a scene. Um, but, uh, but one of the best parts was when the when the when when like the when the when the when the son was like wanted to stay at a friend's house and the grandma said the one thing in English that like oh, yeah. that she he ding dong is broken. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> and that was. My favorite scene, one of my favorite scenes, when he's at the, when the kid, the boy, at his friend's house, he, a, fr a friend he met at church, and he, the friend offers him some chewing tobacco. That was funny. Like, oh, oh, that, that funny, oh, yeah. that part. Yes. Yeah, that and, was funny. Oh, you know, you're you'll be surprised because like the, because when they because like the kid, because you see the kids, they're regularly at church. Yeah. Meanwhile, the father who is not. 
father who, meanwhile, the father of Steven, that... Stephen Eater or the father of the other kid? The father of the kid that, where the son stays. Um, uh, the, well, right the son's team? name is David, and he goes to, he goes to, to you know, stay with a friend of, a friend of and his. And his friend's father's a redneck, so... He, he basically, he basically, like, he basically has no, like, the, the way he explains it, like, he has no filter. Yeah. And it's... And you know it's 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 crazy it's you know it's a it, it's it, it's very interesting how 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 they talk about like who used a, a, a really a really like subtle moment like that I don't think that I don't think a lot of people will pick up is like the the who owned this farm before the Korean family and um, you know they talk about they talk about like the how much they talk about the. They talk. They, you don't get. You know, they they do talk about a lot of like what, the, like the the previous failures, but, and, but like it's not until like the son kind of hears it and it's like, it's it's a little diff, you know, it's a little difficult for him to like to like to like figure out because his father owns the farm now, and he's been and he's been struggling. It's. Are you talking about the? The religious pastor of that guy, or the, uh, no, the son, the son, the, uh, the son who is like. I mean, I mean the son who is like, I mean the son because his father owns the farm now, and like it's it's, you know it's hard for him to like figure to David's figure it out. David's father. Yeah, David's father. Stephen Yoon. Yeah, because, yeah. Any anyway, it's 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 a few things that like kind of. It's like these mo. It's these moments that kind of add to like the, yeah, add to kind of like the 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 um the skep the the kind of like the underlying little darkness that that kind of comes with the film that come that like the film kind of kind of kind of eventually eventually heads to. I think that the um. Well, yeah. So. It's like a, it's a slice of life movie, well well made for what it is. Like I, I still think like, I said it would it would have been better if it were, if it were maybe a six or seven or eight episode mini series that expanded mm, more things. I but, mean it's a, I mean it it's a movie that definitely takes its time and it definitely yeah. definitely shows what what ex definitely shows a bit all of the struggles that you go that you go not only as like not only professionally but also very personally and. And you know sometimes when the, when you know personal and professional do kind of mix in so to speak, it does. There you know you you have to come with it comes with a lot of emotional, a lot of baggage. Yeah. So the movie. You want to talk about the movie ends? Uh, the movie ends with the uh, the grandmother accidentally letting their store their warehouse on fire, their storage house, or their, their their crops, and and. Um, because she's she's like suffering from a stroke, so she can't. She's not very active. And then at the very end, you see them. They they finally pay to have a, have a, a have an official well built. Because at the beginning, they were, they didn't have a, have an official well. They only had a makeshift well. And mm -hmm. so I guess one of the more the morals here is don't don't cheapen out when you're when you're building a project. Um, I, th I well well yeah I mean it was it was it's a, it's a simple movie. Nothing spe nothing spectacular. Um, uh, I, I think it was, I think, I think more, I, I think, I think it's something that, that you, you, you really need to watch if, because of, because of how unique the story is, the story is to, it's um, how unique the story is because you don't really get these, this, this story from, from like, from any other, you, you can't really get this story from like anywhere else. Yeah. But, well, I mean, I guess so. Uh, so yeah, are there any other, are there any other like indie films you're interested in, or like for anything from A twenty four? Because A twenty four, they made some pretty good films. Yeah, produced, I've, yeah, I've been, made, produced things, yeah. yeah, I've been into a lot of like A twenty four lately. Yeah, the one one thing I hated that I didn't really like was that movie, um, the Tip Place in Sweden, that I so, Midsummer that was so bad. I, <laughs> I that, like yeah, that. I I didn't watch that. But well, anyway. Uncut Gems that was terrible. It's, I couldn't watch it for more than half an hour. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, that. Yeah, I know we haven't done this, done a lot of, lot of uh, th th this much, but yeah, like hopefully we'll get back into it. Yeah.